and to the ages of ages. Amen. O holy God, who is resting among the holy ones, praised by the seraphim with Christ's holy voice, glorified by cherubim, worshipped by every celestial power, who brought all things to being out of nothing, of greater man, of course, and likeness, who adorned him with all the gifts of your, your grace. Give wisdom and understand the one who asks, and do not to look at the sin of the the way of salvation. Grant those humble and worthy servants to stand even at this very hour for the Lord and the Lord of sacrifice. Whoever do worship and praise, Master, accept the sign of Him for most of the express sinners. This is your goodness. Give all our voluntary and voluntary transgressions. Sanctify our souls and bodies and grant them and may worship the Holy Spirit all the days of our lives. Since the Holy Spirit will focus on all the saints who please you throughout the ages. Holy God, Holy Mighty One. Holy God, Holy Mighty One. Glory to the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Down here the ages of ages. Amen. Και ο και ο και στους αιώνας των αιώνων, αμήν. Άγιος αθάνατος, ελέησον ημάς. Δύναμις ευλογημένος ο ερχόμενος. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed are you seated upon the throne of the glory amidst the cherubim. Now never see his face, amen. So you may not be thrown into the earth, but you must be the cherubim, and the angels are the angels. Ah, 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 Gios, Atana, Gos, Eleison, Limas. Proskomen, Υψώθητη στου ουρανού ο Θεό, ετοίμη η καρδία μου ο Θεό. Σοφία, λάξε όλων των Αποστόλων το ανάγνωσμα. Πρόσφαμεν, το μέντρο των λόγων επί περί πάντων ο Θεόφιλε, όνειξα το Ισού πίντε και διδάσκη. Άχρηση μέρα αντιλάμενο τη Αποστόλη. Δια πνεύματο Αγίου, ούσε εξελέξα το ανελήφθη, ή και παρέστησε αυτόν ζώντα, με το το παθήν αυτόν εμπολίστηκε τεχνηρή. Διμερών τεσσαράποντα, οπτανόμενο αυτή και λέγοντα περί τη βασιλεία του Θεού, και συνελιζόμενο παρήγγειλεν αυτή το Ιερ, από Ιερουσαλήμου, μη χωρίζεστε, αλλά περιμένει την επαγγελία του πατρό, ή κουσατέ μου. Ότι ο Άγιος με νεβάπτησε εν ύδατη, κι εμείς δε βαπτίζεστε ο Πνεύματι Αγίο, που με τα πολλά στάφτα σημέρας ημένουν, συνερθώντες επί ρώτων αυτών λέγοντες, Κύριε ή εν το χρόνο τούτο αποκαθιστάνεις τη βασιλεία του Ισραήλ, είπε δε προς αυτούς, ούχι μονές τη γνώνε χρόνους ή καιρούς ους ο πατήρ. Έθετον και η δία εξουσία, αλλά λείψεστε δύναμη, επερχόντες του Αγίου Πνεύματος σε θυμάς, και έσες θέμη, μάρτυρες σε τε Ιερουσαλήμ, και εν πάση τη Ιουδαία και Σαμαρία, και ως τη χάτου της γης. Και τα αυτά υπόν βλεπόντων αυτών απήρθε, και νεφέλη υπέλαβεν αυτών από τον φαμόν αυτών, και ως ατενίζοντες ήσαν στους ουρανών, πορευωμένο αυτού, και οι δύο άντρε δύο παρεστήκησαν αυτή εν αισθήτη λευκή και είπαν: Άντρε Γαλιλαίοι, τι αισθήκατε βλέποντε εσεί των ουρανών. Ούτω ο Ισού, ο αναληφθή αφημών ει των ουρανών, ούτω ελεύσατε πάλι ει τρόπον εθεάσαστε αυτών πορευόμενων ει των ουρανών. Τότε επέστρεψαν σε Ιερουσαλήμ από όλου του καλωμένου λεόνο. Ω εστιμεγγύη Ιερουσαλήμ, Σαββάτου 
Let us be attentive. We read it from the Acts of the Apostles. Wisdom, let us be attentive. In the, all in, the, in the first book, all Theophilus I have dealt with all that Jesus began to do and teach until the day when he was taken up after he had given commandment through the Holy Spirit to the Apostles whom he had chosen. To them he presented himself alive after his passion by many proofs, appearing to them during 40 days and speaking of the kingdom of God. And while staying with them, he charges them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father, which he said, you heard from me, for John baptized with water, the water, but before many days you shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, will you at this time restore the kingdom of Israel? He said to them, It is not for you to know times or seasons with which the Father has fixed by his own authority but you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has gone up on you, and you shall be my witness in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the end of the earth. And when he had said this, as they were looking on, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him out of their sight. And while they were gazing into heaven as he went. Behold, two men stood by them in white robes and said, My men of Galilee, why did you stand looking into heaven? This Jesus, who was taken up from you into heaven, will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. Then they returned returned from the mount called Olivet, which is near Jerusalem, a Sabbath day's journey away. Irini Sitwana Yinoskundi, peace be with you, the reader. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Sophia Orthia Kusomen to Ayu Evangeliu, Irini Pasi. Προσκομένους και δια τη διολογισμή ανεβαίνουν στην εντεσκαρδία Σιμών, είδε τετας χειράς μου και τους πόδας μου ότι αυτός εγώ ημί. Συλλαφίσατε με και είδετε ότι πνεύμα, σάρκα και οστέα ουκ έχει καθώς σε με θεωρείτε έχοντα. Και τούτο υπόν επέδειξαν αυτοίς τα χειράς και τους πόδας. Έτσι δε απιστούν τον αυτόν από τις χαράς και θαυμάζουν τον είπεν αυτοίς. Έχετε τη βρόσιμον ενθάδε. Ιδέ πέδωκαν αυτό ηχθείως όπτου μέρους και από μελισσίου Κυρίου και λαβών ενώπιον αυτών έφαγεν. Είπε δε αυτοίς, ούτε οι λόγοι ους ελάλησα προς ημάς αιτιόν συνειμήν, ότι διπληρωθήνε πάντα τα γραμμέναν τον νόμο Μωυσέως και προφητές και ψαλμής περί εμού. Τότε διήνυξεν αυτόν τον νουν του συνιένε τα σγραφάς και είπεν αυτοίς, ότι ούτω γέγραπτε και ούτω έδι πάθην των Χριστών και αναστην εκ νεκρών τη τρίτη ημέρα και κηρυχθήν επί το όνομα τη αυτού μετάνιαν και άφησαν αματιών εις πάντα τα έθνη αρξάμενον από Ιερουσαλήμ. Εμείς δε έστε μάρτυρες τούτων και ειδού εγώ αποστέλω την Ευαγγελία του Πατρός μου εφ' ημάς. Εμείς δε καθίσατε εν την πόλη Ιερουσαλήμ εώσου ενδύστησε δύναμιν εξ ύψους 
εξήγαγεται από τους έξω έως της βιθανία και πάρας τα σχήρας αυτού ευλόγησεν αυτούς και γένετο εν το ευλογήν αυτού αυτόν αυτούς διέστη από αυτόν και ανεφέρετο εις τους ουρανούς και αυτοί προσκυνήσαντες αυτόν υπέστρεψαν εις Ιερουσαλήμ μετά χαράς μεγάλης και ήσαν διαπαντός εν το Ιερό ενούντες και ευλογούντες των Θεών. Amen. The Gospel reading is according to St. Luke. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. At that time, Jesus, having risen from the dead, he stood in the midst of his disciples and he said to them, Peace to you. But they were startled and they were frightened and they supposed that they saw a spirit. And he said to them, Why are you troubled? And why do questionings arise in your hearts? See my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Handle me and see, for a spirit has not flesh and bones as you see that I have. And when he had said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. And while they still disbelieved for joy and wondered, he said to them, Have you anything here to eat? And they gave him a piece of broiled fish, and he took it, and he ate before them. And then he said to them, These are my words which I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and the prophets and the Psalms must be fulfilled. And then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures. And he said to them, Thus it is written that the Christ should suffer and on the third day rise from the dead, and that repentance and forgiveness of sin should be preached in his name to all nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. And behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you, but stay in the city until you are clothed with power from on high. Then he led them out as far as Bethany, and lifting up his hands, he blessed them. While he blessed them, he parted from them and was carried up into heaven. And they worshipped him, and they returned to Jerusalem with great joy and were continually in the temple, blessing God. Glory to you, Lord. Glory to you. That ever guarded by your power, we may give you the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever to the ages of ages. Amen. No one bound by carnal desires and worldly pleasures is worthy to approach to draw near to minister to you the King of glory. For to serve you is awesome, even for heavenly powers. Yet in your ineffable, immeasurable love for humankind, immediately and impassively became man. He was the master of all, became the high priest, and delivered unto us the sacred service of this liturgical sacrifice without the shedding of blood. Indeed, Lord our God, your alone reign over the celestial terrestrial. O Lord, the church of strong Lord, the servant of King Israel, the only holy and resting on the holy ones. And I beseech you alone, our good and kind, to hear look down upon me, your sinful and profitable servant. Cleanse my soul and heart of the wicked conscience, and the power of your holy spirit, the grace of the priesthood. And before your holy table, celebrate the mystery of your holy soul, body, and precious blood. I come before you with my head bowed and I close your face away from me. Check your money and children make yourself unworthy servant. Worthy to offer these gifts to you, for you are the one who offers and is offered. The one who is received and is distributed, O Christ our God. And to you we offer glory with your fathers that beginning. For a holy, good, and life-creating spirit, now and forever to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us, who mystic represent the cherubim, who sing the thrice holy hymn, the life creating trinity, and now lay aside every worldly care that received the King of all, invisibly escorted by jelly hosts. Alleluia. Let us who mystic represent the cherubim, sing the thrice holy hymn to life great trinity, now lay aside every worldly care that received the King of all, who is visibly escorted by John Post. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Having beheld the resurrection of Christ, let us worship the Holy Lord Jesus, the only Son this one. We venerate your cross, O Christ, and your holy resurrection of praise and glorify. For you are our God, we know no other. It is your name we invoke. Come, all you faithful, and praise the Lord's holy resurrection. For behold him, enduring the cross for us, and for death by death. Have a blessing, O Lord, and praise the resurrection. Through the cross, joy has come into the world. Oh, mm -hmm.
May God forgive all those who hate us and all those who wrong us. In peace, lift up your hands to the holies and bless and praise the Lord. And the Vasilia of two Pandote Nimpia, he is to sell on us, Tone Ono. May the Lord our God remember all of us in his kingdom, always, now, and forever and unto the ages of ages. The noble Joseph took your most precious body down from the cross. He wrapped it in a clean shroud of linen. He laid it in a new tomb with fragrances and spices. Complete our prayer to the Lord. For the precious gifts here presented, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house and all who entered with faith, reverence, and a fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. For deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, keep us, O God, by your grace. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and free of sin, let us ask the Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful God, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. For pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. For that which is good and beneficial for our souls, for peace in the world, let us ask the Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and in repentance, let us ask the Lord. And let us ask for a Christian end to our life, peaceful, without shame or suffering, for a good defense before the awesome judgment seat of Christ. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. For God Almighty, you alone are holy. You accept the sacrifice of praise from those who call upon you with their whole heart. Even so, accept from our sinners our supplication and bring it to your holy altar of sacrifice. Enable us to offer you gifts and spiritual sacrifices for our own sins, for the failings of your people. Deem us worthy to find grace in your sight, that our sacrifice may be well-pleasing to you, and that the good spirit of your grace may rest upon us, upon the gifts that are presented here, and upon all your people. Through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life, creating spirit, now and forever, to the ages of ages. Amen. Irini pasi, agapi sumen alilus en anomonia omologi sumen. I love you, Lord, my rock. The Lord is my strength. He is my refuge, and He is my deliverer.
Christ is in our midst. Tas tiras, tas tiras, en Sofia proskomen. I believe in one I believe God. in our God, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, in our Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten and created of one essence with the Father, to whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pasha Pilate and suffered and was buried. And he rose on the third day according to the scriptures. And he ascended to heaven and seated at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom shall have no end. And the Holy Spirit the Lord, the Creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke through the prophet. In one holy Catholic and an apostolic church, I confess on the for the forgiveness of sin. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Let us stand aright, let us stand in all, let us be attentive that we may present the holy offering in peace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us lift up our hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It's proper and right to bless you, hear you, praise you, give thanks to you, worship you in every place of your dominion. Be your God, are ineffable, inconceivable, invisible, incomprehensible, existing forever, forever the same. You and your only begotten Son, your Holy Spirit, you brought us out of nothing into being. When we had fallen away, you raised us up again. You left nothing undone until you will let us up into heaven and granted us your kingdom which is to come. For all these things we thank you and your only begotten Son, your Holy Spirit, for all things we know and those what we do not know, for blessings manifest and hidden that be bestowed upon us. We thank you also for this liturgy which you have deigned to receive from our hands. Even though thousands of archangels, tens of thousands of angels stand around you, the cherubim, the seraphim, six-winged, many-eyed, soaring aloft upon their wings. <laughs> Who loves mankind, we also exclaim and say, Holy are you and most holy, you and your only begotten Son, your Holy Spirit. You are holy and most holy, and sublime is your glory. You so loved your world, and you gave your only begotten Son, that everyone who believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. When he had fulfilled our, for our sake the entire plan of salvation the night, which he was delivered up, but he gave himself up for the life of the world, because your friend is holy, pure, holy, blameless hands, and giving thanks and blessing. He hallowed and broken and gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Lavete, fagete, tutto moestito soma, doi perimon clomenon, isafesina martion. 
take eat this is my body which is broken for you for the remission of sins Pietex aftu pandes tu to esti to emamu totis kenis di artikis to iperimon ke polon e kinomenon isafestina martion Drink of this all of you this is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins Remember there for the same commandment all that has been done for our sake the cross the tomb the resurrection on the third day the ascension into heaven the enthronement at the right hand the second and glorious coming again your own of your own we offer to you in all and for all as it is not pentecost yet we do not kneel yet but now we bow our heads tasa ekton son si prosfero men kata panda ke di panda once again we offer to you the spiritual worship without the shedding of blood we beseech and pray and entreat you send down the holy spirit upon us and upon the gifts that are here presented and make this bread the precious body of your Christ amen and that which is in this cup the precious blood of your Christ amen changing them by your holy spirit amen 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 so that they may be for those who partake of them for vigilance of soul remission of sin amen of your holy spirit fullness of the kingdom of heaven boldness before you now for judgment or condemnation again we offer you the spiritual worship for those who are reposed in the faith forefathers fathers patriarchs prophets apostles teachers evangelists martyrs confessors ascetics for every righteous spirit that is perfected in faith we bless you we give thanks to you and we pray to you lord god exeretos tis panagia sacrandu hyperblogimenis in doxu desfinis simon theotoku Dei Parthenu Marias, for Saint John the Prophet, the Four and the Baptist, the Holy, glorious, most precious apostles, for the saints that we commemorate today, Nikki Kronos, Constantine of Mytilene, John of Sochova, Demetrius the New Martyr, supplication for the birth of our Lord, who falls asleep and hopes the resurrection to life eternal. Ron, Claire, the Amando, John, George, Calliope, Aphrodite, and thus, speaking us, and bring us up for the Grant them, O God, for the light of your countenance keeps watch. We beseech you, Lord, remember all the archbishops who teach the word of your truth. The President, the Aconet, in Christ, every priestly monastic order. Again, we offer you this spiritual worship for the entire world, for the Holy Catholic Apostolic Church, for those living pure and reverent lives. For civil authorities and the armed forces, grant that we may govern in peace, Lord, so that in tranquility we too may live calm and serene lives in all piety and virtue. Mega to onuma tisayes triados, panda tenin kiai sonos to neonum. Among the first, remember, Lord, our Archbishop Elpidophoros. Grant him to your holy churches in peace, safety, honor, and health unto length of days, rightly teaching the word of your truth. And remember those whom each of us has in mind and all the people. Remember, Lord, this city in which we live, every city and land, and the faithful who live in them. Remember, Lord, all those who travel by land, sea, and air, the sick, the suffering, the captives, and their salvation. Remember those who bear fruit and do good works in your holy churches, and those who are mindful of the poor. And upon all of us, send forth your mercies. And grant that with one voice and one heart, may glorify and praise your most honorable, majestic name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever, to the ages of ages. Amen. And the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. Having remembered all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the precious gifts that are presented here and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. That our God, who loves mankind, having accepted them at his holy celestial mystical altar, as an offering of spiritual fragrance, may in return send down upon us the divine grace and this gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Having asked for the unity of the faith, for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. We entrust to you, loving Master, our whole life and hope. We beseech, pray, and implore you, grant us to partake of your heavenly and your awesome mysteries from this sacred spiritual table with a clear conscience for the remission of our sins, for the forgiveness of transgressions, for the communion of the Holy Spirit, the inheritance of the kingdom of heaven, 
boldness before you, not unto judgment or condemnation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth also in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to the temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with you all. With your spirit. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. The Lord. Lord our God. We give thank to you. We give thanks to you who by your boundless power fashioned the universe. And in the multitude of your mercy you brought all things from nothing into being looked down from heaven. O Master, upon those who have bowed their heads before you, for they have not bowed before flesh and blood but before you, the awesome God. Therefore, O Master, make smooth and beneficial for us all whatever lies ahead, according to the need of each. Sail with those who sail, travel with those who travel, heal the sick, physician of our souls and bodies. Through the grace, compassion, and love of mankind, of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your holy good and life, creating spirit, now and forever to the ages of ages. Amen. Hearken, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, from your holy dwelling place and from the throne of glory of your kingdom, come to sanctify us. You who are enthroned with the Father on high and present among us invisibly here with your mighty hand, grant communion over your most pure body and your precious blood to us and through us to all the people. O God, show favor to me, a sinner. Have mercy upon me. O God, show favor to me, a sinner, and have mercy upon me. Let us be attentive to the holy gifts of the holy people of God. The time of God is apportioned and distributed, a portion, but not divided. Every, every consumed, sanctify those who partake. The fullness of the Holy Spirit. Blessed is the fervor of your saints now and ever to the ages of ages. Amen. Zesis pisteos. Zesis pneumatos ayu. Amen. I believe. I confess, Lord, that you are truly the Christ, Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners from them first. I believe this is truly your body and precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you have mercy upon me and forgive my transgressions voluntary and involuntary. In word, deed, and knowledge, or in ignorance, make me worthy of condemnation, partake of your pure mysteries, remission of sins, and life eternal. Amen. You have smitten me with yearning, O Christ, of our divine arrows who have changed me. Burn the spiritual fire in my sins and grant me to be filled with light in you, so leaping for joy may magnify with good when your two comings. How shall I, who am unworthy, enter the splendor of your saints? If I should dare to enter the bridal chamber, my vesture will condemn me, since it is not a wedding garment. Being bound up, it shall be cast out by the angels. Cleanse, O Lord, the filth of my soul, and save me, as you are the one who loves humankind. In your love, Lord, cleanse my soul and save me. Master who loves mankind, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be to my judgment, because I am unworthy. Rather, fear the purification and the sanctification of both soul and body, and the pledge of the life and the kingdom to come. It is good for me to cleave unto God, to place in Him the hope of my salvation. I believe and confess, Lord, that the you are truly Christ, Christ, my brothers and sisters in Christ, forgive me the unworthy priest. The world Behold, I approach Christ, our mortal King and God, precious most holy I body of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, is imparted to me, Asilios, the unworthy priest, Therefore, the remission of my sins and life eternal. Have mercy upon Amen. And forgive my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed, in knowledge or in ignorance, and make me worthy without condemnation to Again, unto me, Vasilios, in worthy presbyter, is imparted the precious and all holy life giving blood of our Lord God and Savior Amen. Jesus Christ, forgiveness of Behold, sins and life everlasting. For divine communion, name of the Father, O Maker, burn me not as I partake. 
in the Son. You are fire consuming the unworthy. The, the Holy Spirit. Me, cleanse me from every stain. O Son of God, this has touched my lips. Partake of your mystical suffering. My sins are forgiven. For I will my guilt not is taken away. To your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss. As Have you beheld the resurrection of Christ? Like the thief, I confess to you. Let us worship the Holy Remember Lord Jesus me, Lord, in, in your kingdom. We venerate your cross Tremble, of Christ and the resurrection. As you behold Christ, the divine blood, for you are our God. We know no other. Coal, it is your name we invoke. I'm only faithful. Praise the Lord who nourishes me. It deifies the spirit and wondrously nourishes the mind. You have smitten me with yearning, O Christ, and by your divine eros you have changed me. But burn up with spiritual fire my sins, and grant me to be filled with delight in you, so that, leaping for joy, I may magnify, O God, one, O good one, your two comings. How shall I, who am unworthy, enter into the splendor of your saints? If I should dare to enter into the bridal chamber, my vesture will condemn me, since it is not a wedding garment. And being bound up, I shall be cast out by the angels. Cleanse, O Lord, the filth of my soul, and save me, as you are the one who loves mankind. In your love, Lord, cleanse my soul and save me. Master who loves mankind, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be to my judgment, because I am unworthy, but rather for the purification and sanctification of both soul and body, and the pledge of the life and kingdom to come. It is good for me to cleave unto God and to place in him the hope of my salvation. O Son of God, receive me today as a partaker of your mystical supper, for I will not speak of the mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as did Judas. But like the thief, I confess to you, remember me, Lord, in your kingdom. Metaphor Buthevu, Pisteos Kelgapis Proselpete, with the fear of God, with faith and with love, draw near. On su, yev lo yison dinglirono mi an su. An elifician doxi Christeo Theo Simon. Aropi isas tu zumapitax, i epagelia tu agiu plermatos. Beveo cedon anton diatis elogias, O tisio ios tu Theu, o litro tis tu tus. 
Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory be all over the earth. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory be all over the earth. Blessed is our God, always, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Arise, having received the divine, holy, pure, immortal, life-giving and awesome mysteries of Christ. Let us give fitting thanks to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, keep us, O God, by your grace. Having, having prayed for, the whole, for a holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us give fitting thanks to the Lord. And let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. We give thanks to you, Master, who loves humankind, benefactor of our souls, that even on this very day you have made us worthy of your heavenly and immortal mysteries. Make straight our path, fortify us in your fear, guard our life, make secure our steps through the prayers and supplications of the glorious Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, and of all your saints. For you are sanctification, and to you we give glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. O oh Lord, who blesses those who bless you and who sanctifies all those who put their trust in you, save your people and bless your inheritance, protect the entire body of your church, sanctify those who love the beauty of your house, glorify them in return by your divine power. Do not forsake us, we who have set our hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the clergy, to our civic leaders, to the armed forces, to all your people. For every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from you, the Father of lights. To you we give glory, thanksgiving, and worship to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever to the ages of ages. Christ our God, Please be seated. Good morning, everyone. Today, on this uh, Ascension Thursday, one of the great feasts of the church. I'm sure you've heard the expression, uh, what goes up must come down. In the Orthodox Church, we have another expression. What comes down must also go up. And this is exactly what we celebrate today. Jesus Christ, who was incarnate at the Feast of Christmas. God took on a body, right, at Christmas. Um, came down from heaven to be up, to dwell amongst men and women, to, to be involved with humankind, and now he ascends. He goes back to heaven from whence he came. He is gone, if you will, but he's not departed. We could say that he is done with his work on earth, but he is one with the Father in heaven. We also say that he ascended so he could send, and he could send the Holy Spirit. He bids us farewell now, for our welfare. In other words, he goes to prepare a place for us in the kingdom of heaven because he promises us a mansion, a place where we will abide with him if we are baptized and believe in him. And the creed, the fundamental doctrine of faith, that which we recite at every liturgy, teaches us, right? We say these words, he ascended into, seven, ascended into heaven, he sat at the right hand of the Father, he will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead. The first time Jesus came to earth, he came as a little baby. He came with all humility. The second time he comes back to earth, at the second coming of Jesus, he comes in glory and for the judgment of the world. So this feast of ascension tells us that God departs, but then he sends the third person of the Holy Trinity, known as, of course, the Ayopnema, the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete, the Comforter. One of the things that we heard in the Gospel of Luke earlier was a question that the world has been asking itself since Jesus was around and even before Jesus. Why are you troubled? Why do questionings arise in your hearts? Isn't the world troubled? And isn't the world questioning authority now all the time? And don't we have chaos 
and more and more of it, it seems, especially since we have the news and all the information. We have all the bad news, but we still need the good news. And thank God we come to church to hear the good news. Why are you troubled? Why do questionings arise in your hearts? And this he says to the disciples after his resurrection when he appears to them, because they're having a tough time believing that he was resurrected. And so he appears to them in a glorified form, in a body that is not of this time, if you will. It is beyond time. It is beyond time and space, because he appears to them in, inst in an instant, and then he disappears in an instant. He seems to go through walls. The doors were shut, we are told, according to the Gospels, and Jesus appeared to them, and he said, peace be with you. And then he says to them, these are my words which I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything about me had to be fulfilled. It is very easy to forget, you know, to forget. And so if Jesus ascended, which he did, a bodily ascension, it would be easier to forget him. In other words, we would say to ourselves, well, he's gone now, you know, he's departed. Let's move on, this kind of a thing. So in, us, in order for us not to forget what he taught, and how we should live, he sends the Holy Spirit, and he tells his disciples, wait, because I'm going to send you the Holy Spirit with power. It's good to know that we have a man in heaven, and this man in heaven is Jesus Christ. It's good to know that Jesus ascended, not for himself, but to show us our destiny, because he was both God and man. But one of the major points of this feast today, and it's, of, of course, it's not usually a well-attended feast, because it comes on a weekday, one of the points of this is heaven opens up and our destiny is to arrive where he arrives, at the right hand of the Father, in the dominion of God. Because he has, if you will, dominion over mortality, over death. That's what we uh, chanted, of course, Christ is risen from the dead, and by death trampling upon death. We chanted that, of course, for 40 days. So the meaning and importance of the ascension of Christ is that he presents himself alive to his disciples, and he presents to us the eternal life through his ascension. Because it's very easy to get bogged down in this life, okay? Just because an earthly ministry ends does not mean that a heavenly, if you will, a heavenly destination is not available. The earthly work is done, but the heavenly glory continues because that's eternal. What is this idea where he says to us in the Gospel of John, I prepare a place for you. you know, we all want a place, right? We want our place in the office. We want our place in the family. We want our place in society. We want our place in, you will, in the church, in the house of God, in the temple. What is this place exactly you know, that, that he is talking about? Well, according to the Gospel of Luke and the Gospel of John, he ascended to heaven and sat at the right hand of the Father. The right hand of the Father means a place of preference, if you will a place in the dominion, right, in the household, or a place where God lives and reigns eternally, where he basically is king, right, king of kings. We want the same kind of place, because this kind of a place is much different than the place we're in right now. It's a place of comfort, of joy, a place of everlasting bliss, this kind of a place. A place where St. Paul says, the eye has not seen, the ear has not heard, the types of things we experience in heaven. And so this is why the church, for one reason, doesn't look like other places, at least the Orthodox Church. It looks ornate. It looks heavenly. It looks like an oasis in a sea of trouble, if you will, or in the desert, in a spiritual desert. It looks like an oasis because it draws the human being upwards, just like Jesus was drawn upwards. He ascended. We are supposed to be drawn upwards when we enter a church because our eyes behold the Pantocrator, where he reigns now and our, uh, our noses smell the incense, the fragrance of sacrifices and prayers rising to heaven. We taste the body and blood of Christ. We hear the hymnography and the hymnology teaching us what God wants us to remember, if you will. So there's no accident that Jesus is pictured at the right hand of the Father, and there is no accident, if you will, that this place is what we are prepared for, we are being prepared for as well. The, the position of honor and authority, as the Psalms say, as St. Paul says in his letters too, we are pre being prepared for a position of honor and authority. Another significant thing about this feast, I said before that his farewell, his goodbye, Jesus' farewell is for our welfare. 
Imagine if Jesus were limited to a body until he was 70, 80, 90, or 100 years old. In other words, he could not travel beyond Palestine and the Middle East. The word of God would never spread as quickly because the disciples had to go spread it through the Holy Spirit. And he had to send people out and send them forth so they could spread the word. And then the Holy Spirit would breathe through people and animate people's spiritual lives. So the Holy Spirit is very significant here in the work that it did because churches would not have been established by St. Paul without the Holy Spirit. So his farewell is for our welfare because it's for the salvation of the entire human race, okay? The entire human race. This is the welfare that God wants because he's constantly seeking to uh, bring us back to him and constantly seeking to give us healing. So many shootings we've been hearing about, right? I've been invited to do a healing prayer on Friday, tomorrow, in, uh, in Mawa, because uh, there are teachers and uh, educators and people who are seeking some kind of justice, but also some kind of uh, peace. Can you imagine if you go to school and it's not a place of safety anymore? What is the place of safety nowadays, right? It's a place that's in your heart and in your mind because we can't rely on anything to be safe. You go shopping, it may not be safe. You go to school, it may not be safe. We don't know. So where is the safety? The safety is in the Word of God. One thing is needful, Jesus said, the Word of God. Abide in me and I abide in you. But the Word of God is needful and that's why we call Jesus the Logos, the Word of God. These are the things that he teaches and these are the things that... Um, we are prepared to uh, experience at the second coming of the Lord. So this ascension into heaven uh, for us, this great feast, is another, yet another hope for our salvation and what can happen to us as well. The grave and the tomb are not the final destination of the Orthodox Christian. Heaven is that final destination. May it be blessed on this day of ascension. Amen. Please rise. Let us pray to the Lord. Glory to you, O Christ our God, glory to you. May the blessing of the Lord and his mercy come upon you through his divine grace and love for mankind, always now and ever to the ages of ages. May he who ascended for us to the heavens in glory and sat at the right hand of God the Father, Christ our one true God, through the intercessions of his all pure, holy, immaculate mother, the power of the precious life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable by those heavenly powers, the supplications of the honorable, glorious prophet and foreigner, John the Baptist, the holy, glorious Glory praise for the apostles, the holy, glorious triumphant martyrs, our righteous and our God-bearing fathers, of St. Nicholas, Archbishop of Lycia, St. John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, of the holy, righteous hands of God, Joachim and Anna, of the saints we commemorate today, Nikiforos, Patriarch of Constantinople, and of all the saints, may the Lord have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and he loves humankind. The font on a young paternimon, Kiri su Christelthos, a lason kisos on ima. A blessing uh, be with you today for the ascension feast. Please come and receive uh, the Andida from the right and from the left.
τη βασιλεία σου μνήστη τιμών κύριε, όταν έρθεν η βασιλεία σου, μα χάρη που έχει το πνεύμα τη, ότι αυτόν στην η βασιλεία των ουρανών, μα χάρη πεθούντες, ότι αρτή παρακηθήσονται, χάρη πραείς, ότι αρτή κληρονομήσου σιτηριή, μα χάρη πεινώντες και νυψώντες τη δικαιοσύνη, ότι αυτοί κορταστήσονται, μα χάρη ελεημονές, ότι αυτοί ελεηθήσονται, η αυρός έως εξήγαγε του παραδείσου ο εχθρός των αγαών, διασταυρούνται τον λυστή, αντισύγαγε Χριστός εν αυτό, νηστητή μου κράζοντα, όταν έρθεις εν τη βασιλεία σου. Μόρη καθαρή την καρδία, ότι αυτοί τον θεόλοψονται. Προσκυνώ σου τα πατήματα, δοξολογώ και την Ανάσταση. Συντώ άλλα και το λύστη, μεταφωνήσαν από όσοι λαμπράς. Νηστητή μου Κύριε, όταν έρθεις εν τη βασιλεία σου. Μα χάρη ειρήνου πει ότι αυτοί θεοκληθίζονται. Εσταυρώθησαν αμάρτητε και εν ημίον κατετέθης εγώ. Αλεξανέστης ως Θεός συνεγείρασε αυτό τον αγά. Νηστητή μου κράζοντα, όταν έρθεις εν τη βασιλεία 